What's up, Pisces Daily Sun? Oh, it's your boy for a one on one. Um, we have some emotional immaturity here, maybe wanting to lead you to take a step backwards, proverbially running towards someone or putting some distraction in the way, even for you, which is very kind of far out of your wheelhouse. Um, I don't get the sense that you usually tend to do that. Um, I'm getting a, a lot of self-sabotage. I'm getting that it may be worth you holding your ground here, um, in essence. Um, yeah, double self-sabotage here. But I'm not getting that it's from or for you. I'm getting that it might be for someone else. Um, yeah, it's very interesting dynamic here. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? For you, Pisces. Yeah, I see a lot of victory in you kind of holding your ground and really fighting for what you believe for, um, Pisces. Fighting for what you believe in, I should say. Um, I think that there's a way to kind of go back if there is a place to go back, if it's going back home or what have you. And I think that you want to do so in a certain way. But it would only be for you. Just keep that in mind. But if you, you know, trust your intuition, trust your instincts. You know, if you want to go back home, go back home. If you want to, you know, hold your ground, hold your ground. If you, you know, you know yourself best. I think at the end of the day, though, you know, what you don't want to do is you don't want to burn yourself out. And you don't want to look at things you know, as they are now, as, you know, unchanging, and, and this is it, and you know, things are never going to be different, okay, because then that would be a form of self-sabotage. So keep in mind, there's a bigger picture, you know, keep on dreaming, keep on believing in the quantum possibility of all good things, uh, past, present, and especially future, Pisces, right? Dream that beautiful dream. I know you have it in Holly from Morpheus.